पूरा मैंने रिजेक्ट कर दिया <laughs> क्या बच गया जिंदगी में वॉट वॉट रिमेन्स नॉन वेज इज गॉन मीट फिश एग्स गॉन देन आई गिव अ पोस्ट ऑन इंस्टाग्राम वेर आई से मसूर दाल इज नॉट परमिटेड मशरूम्स एंड चॉकलेट्स एंड ऑफकोर्स ओनियन एंड गार्लिक सो नॉन वेज वी नो वेरी क्लियर राइट वाई इट इज नॉट परमिटेड टू पीट बिकॉज इट इज डन थ्रू वायलेंस नॉ यू मे से ओ बट आर देर इज देर नो वायलेंस वेन यू किल प्लांट्स वेल येस देर इज देर इज वायलेंस एवरीवेयर इवन इफ आई एम ड्रिंकिंग वॉटर देर इज सम लेवल ऑफ वायलेंस टू समबडी राइट बट यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड देर इज अ बिग डिफरेंस बिटवीन द वायलेंस दैट इज कॉल्ड वेन यू आर कटिंग अ प्लांट और अ फ्रूट एंड वेन यू आर किलिंग समबडी सो वेन यू आर ईटिंग मीट और अ फिश और एग्स देन देर इज नो फार्दर स्कोप ऑफ लाइफ फॉर दैट that individual that animal or whoever bird or whoever or fish and that's the end of their life you will never find you know uh, somebody saying oh i'll just you know eat the leg and leave the animal as it is okay even if you leave the animal will not survive okay because of bleeding so therefore non veg is not permitted especially for the sadakas it is it is not permitted okay but there are some other items also which are recommended uh, not to be taken for example there is onion there is garlic and uh, let let's discuss this later first let's understand the modes of nature you know there are three modes so one is the sattva gun the other is rajogun the other is tamogun mode of goodness passion and ignorance so whenever we eat food that is in uh, rajas or tamas rajogun tamogun then we become more animalistic our asuri pravriti increases demoniac traits demoniac behavior increases <coughs> so when i say demoniac behavior it means the anarthas increase okay lust anger greed envy pride illusion kaam krodh lobh moh madam atsare because these because foods in this world are classified into three uh, three gunas okay so lord krishna speaks about this in detail in the bhagavad gita you can read that but non veg meat especially meat fish and eggs they are in rajogun and tamogun because you know there's a lot of violence there's a lot of blood and you no know, when you are killing the animal there is excruciating pain so it is not that suppose you go to an apple tree and you pluck the apple okay so then also the tree feels a bit pain but it is no way near in comparison to what happens when you kill yeah you kill anybody you have you have you seen have you tried to kill an animal sometimes <laughs> what happens it's it's running and <clears throat> oh all the all the poisonous hormones are getting secreted in their body can you imagine the consciousness that this animal is going through when this animal is seeing that i am going to be slaughtered now so that same food when we eat that same restlessness same uh, same anxiety same tension that comes to our consciousness now science may not be able to detect this because scientifically you can only detect the physical realm you cannot detect the subtle things like <clears throat> Uh, science can only detect the brain it cannot detect the mind we also have a mind right <laughs> science cannot detect intelligence it's not possible of course you can say oh there are chemicals and blah 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 all this but no it 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 does not explain mind or intelligence it does not explain false ego because these three elements mind intelligence false ego man buddhi anka these are subtle elements <laughs> so when you kill uh, meat fish and eggs uh, when you eat animals after killing them then subtle at a subtle level your consciousness is going lower 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 and 
at a gross level also there are so many studies you know like meat fish eggs they are not good but anyways we we will not go into that we are only basing what the scriptures are saying and especially if you are planning to do some spiritual practices and uh, if you want to elevate your consciousness if not today but if you know maybe in 3 years 5 years down the line then it is essential that you at the least bare stop the bare minimum this is like non negotiable which is meat fish eggs and intoxication because as per the scriptures there are four four pillars of sin and if you continue doing them then your life will keep degrading lower lower you will become more and more animalistic so one of them is of course meat eating in meat there is meat fish eggs then uh, there is gambling of course and then there is intoxication cigarette smoking alcohol drugs cannabis everything and then of course illicit sex what is illicit sex illicit sex is <clears throat> sex with anybody before marriage or sex with anybody outside marriage so you are you are married you have a husband or wife sex is only allowed with that person and that to after marriage <clears throat> of course there are various levels of illicit sex one even within uh, the married life if the couple is you know indulging in sex life not to procreate children but just out of fun that is also in a way illicit sex but let's keep it aside for the moment illicit sex is premarital or extramarital that that is illicit sex okay <clears throat> and the remaining three i already told you so these four activities will make you more and more animalistic and whenever a society has gone down in the, in one of these or four of these criteria you have you will see the destruction of the societies it, it, it time is separating so one famous example is of the roman empire if you see the history of roman empire one of the biggest causes of its degradation or its uh, extinction is adultery and what is adultery adultery is illicit sex basically nothing more than that but today's topic is not meat fish eggs not even illicit sex <laughs> today's topic is more serious it's onion garlic masoor dal mushroom and chocolate all the five <clears throat> okay so you have to understand uh in the scriptures there are many stories about how something originated okay so for example we know there was the sagar manthan leela which was going on and in that there was one demon called swarabhanu he sat in the place where mohini murti who is vishnu himself herself <laughs> mohini murti was distributing the amrit and somehow he went and sat with the uh, with the devatas and then he uh, he also took the amrit and the amrit was still his neck and then mohini murti uh, was informed about this by surya and chandra sun and moon and then mohini murti took the sudarshan chakra and sliced off swarabhanu's head but because the amrit was here so the he head was living and the body was also somehow living So the head became Rahu, the body became Ketu. So this is the story of Rahu Ketu, and when the head was cut, <coughs> the drops of uh, blood actually fell. Okay, drops of blood actually fell wherever they they fell. They say you know onion came out, and I think for garlic also there is some similar story. And for mas masoor dal, red lentils. There is also one story like. uh when this kartiviri arjun came to the came to uh this uh javadakni rishi's ashram to take the kamdenu cow forcefully then when <coughs> wherever she was bleeding from there it is said masoor dal came so masoor dal is considered to be almost like meat so it is in it it is considered to be in tamogun so if you eat more masoor dal it will affect you negatively 
and apart from that you can eat everything else like tur dal moong dal urad dal green moong dal whatever it <coughs> you can eat and mushroom mushroom the problem is it is uh, it is uh, extremely contaminated the the atmosphere and all how it is done and it is like you know uh, not very clean also so mushroom also should be avoided it is said it is in tamagun and there's a word which they use in hindi for mushroom i don't want to uh, utter the word here but it's not nice okay <clears throat> and what else is now for chocolate chocolate tea coffee all three come under intoxicant category because chocolates contain cocoa cocoa is a mild intoxicant okay so now alcohol uh, has to be completely given up and tea coffee uh, chocolate also should not be consumed ideally but that is still tea coffee and chocolates are still in the gray zone okay if you want sometimes ideally if you are doing spiritual practice very seriously you should give it up completely because these are especially tea coffee is like you know if you consume one day you will consume every day okay very dangerous yeah once in six months you consume somewhere and you know that's okay no or somewhere you are going and somebody has offered you or you can just you know take one sip and just keep it you know just uh, keep take it in your mouth like shiva took the uh, hala hala and kept it here <laughs> so when you go to a unknown person house first time you know they are offering tea coffee <clears throat> and you know so you can just take it and close your mouth and put it <laughs> and yeah you can do that and next time if you go you can tell them that i don't take tea coffee or if it is your relative or some <clears throat> close friend or anybody you can always tell i don't take tea coffee and chocolates okay so for a normal person only uh, meat fish and eggs and alcohol smoking these are non negotiable this cannot be done under any circumstances okay that's prohibited completely <clears throat> but now suppose you want to go to next level so in the next level when you want to do spiritual practice and become serious these things come onion garlic masoor dal chocolate and mushroom tea and coffee these seven items so these seven also should be given up now when you are when you have become more elevated you know when you have when you have become like very 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 serious with your spiritual life then you have to give these up completely and then you can go to the level 3 in level 3 there are some items which you should consume less like you know red chili green chili then uh, there is hing then there is uh, yeah there are a lot of other, other items you know like bengal bengal is uh, brinjal aubergine as they call in german and there is paprika you know which is like capsicum so th there are some items which you can also like you know not eat but it's completely fine if you are eating hing every day and bangan every day absolutely no problem okay but if you are moving higher then of course you know, and sugar also red chili also so these are items you should reduce but they can be taken every day almost okay unless you are like no no i want to be very 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 serious okay anyways the list is uh the list will become more and more tough but at a practical level what you can do is meat fish x alcohol smoking this is complete this has to be gone from your life okay <clears throat> and onion garlic also preferably 99% like in my situation i am in germany from last almost 10 years since april 2015 i am here and i have never purchased onion and garlic once i purchased uh, some garlic paste by mistake and i saw it was like you know ginger garlic whatever it it was actually garlic not ginger that was my mistake and then i cooked it also and i ate it also and then i was like <laughs> something is wrong you know <laughs> <clears throat> and now in my case if i go outside 
then if I don't find food without onion garlic if, or if I have to eat outside then I always try to see if there is a restaurant where I get Jain food or when I am flying I will always search for you know this Jain food Jain meal or Hindu meal or whatever I mean, in Hindu meal there is onion garlic in the flights in, if Jain meal is there then I will take <clears throat> but you know if it's like an extreme situation where suppose I am flying from India to Germany Germany to India there if Jain meal is not available, then I take some fruits or dry fruits or I cook something uh, from my home and take. But even after that, if you, if I am, you know, feeling low or, you know, if it's not happening, then, then I, I may take one or one time, two time or sometimes I, in India, when I go, there are some relatives, you know, if they don't know, then I mean, all my relatives know, so they don't use only a garlic when they cook. But if suppose I go somewhere you know, and you know they offer then yeah I try I keep the onion piece aside and I take the gravy but again it doesn't, it makes no difference. So first time if you are going to somebody's house and that is happening you have to somehow adjust. Okay. But if you are going again and again then you should inform them or even if you are going first time you should inform them in advance. You be, if it is your relative you have to tell your mother or father whosoever side the relative is you have to tell strictly that no I will not eat onion garlic <clears throat> like uh, 2022 uh, when I went to Guwahati uh, because I went to India Guwahati after first time after my wedding my wedding was in 2020 uh, one <clears throat> the Hindu marriage so then you know in India every house has this uh, is the custom is there you know everybody will invite you so then I went and 99% of the homes my mother told before and they did not make yeah once when I went to my village you know they were like oh what the hell is this you know you are coming with your wife and we have no idea this is like you know a big crisis for us <laughs> to make food without onion garlic <clears throat> so we are panicking you know uh, what should we do uh, we, we are in anxiety you know please take for one day you know we don't know how to cook and you know in my village mostly they will eat fish <clears throat> so what to speak of onion garlic you know even to eat vegetarian is very difficult so then I said okay fine you make it I'll eat it one day. so under exceptional circumstances you can take if there's nothing else that's okay <clears throat> but it should not be more than four or five times a year preferably at max ten times so you should take your calendar and you should keep marking okay tick mark here I have eaten once twice thrice four times like that okay preferably it should be zero but again as I said you know because uh, we are not monks, we are not sannyasis, or we are not brahmacharis and we need to travel and if it is required once or twice if required you can take but always search for options before and only then you decide otherwise it's not good okay so if you are serious in advancing yourself spiritually then you have to reduce the consumption of these seven items. Masur dal, mushroom, chocolate, onion, garlic, tea, coffee. These seven items. And if you do not reduce them, you will. it will be very difficult for you to elevate your consciousness. I mean, you can still, but oof, it's tough. It's like, you know, if a person uh, is going to the gym and, you know, wants to lose weight, but, you know, is going on eating sugar, sugar, sugar. So how will the person lose weight? The person will still lose weight, but the person will need maybe 20 years, 10 years to lose, you know, 10 kgs, right? <clears throat> so the growth will still be there, apparently, but it will be like extremely slow. Your consciousness will be very dull and it's like deaf and dumb. So if you can stop purchasing onion garlic and cooking for your everyday meal, you should not consume. It's not required. You can learn. <coughs> You can learn so many recipes, you know, without onion garlic. Because in my home, we have uh, the Jagannath Baldev Subhadra DT. So, we always offer the boga. So, the boga is offered and then it becomes pasar. So, when you offer the boga, 
you cannot have all these items in that okay you cannot say oh i am making you know garlic pasu and i am offering you cannot do that you cannot offer chocolates yeah you can offer the white chocolate you can offer or you know there is some caramel chocolate but generally caramel chocolates are also mixed with cocoa so if it is completely white or you know in germany there are some chocolates which we find like you know some yogurt chocolate or something like that same goes for ice cream ice cream or you know hot chocolate drink or whatever wherever cocoa is there that you have to avoid okay and uh, yes the more you can be sattvic the better it is you know try to avoid like too many fried foods and all this but but that's fine you you can take you, uh, like if you put too much restriction then also it is not good because then you will want to uh, not do anything right so initially please get rid of meat fish eggs alcohol and smoking within uh, one year you should be able to give this up if you are chanting mantras and if you are wondering what mantras you should chant you can always chant you know om namo bhagavate vasudevaya om namo narayanaya you can also chant hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare so these ma- ma- mantras if you chant 108 times each you will be immensely benefited and then within a period of one year or two years you can gradually like e coffee to you can eat like this it's like effortless okay you can just leave it <laughs> and for sugar you should try to find some alternatives you know like monk fruit stevia or you know this what is that jaggery good <clears throat> or you can take honey sometimes although that's also uh, these are also in rajagur but you can take instead of white sugar these are much better okay but with honey you have to see you know if they say if they heat honey honey it becomes poison or something right so be careful with that but these are not just for health these are for your spiritual health your consciousness your chetana your chitta that will go down and if you link these and you start uh, shifting to complete vegetarian diet then you will be able to uh, advance much faster okay So thank you so much and please take care Jai Sri Ram